Alrighty, if we start a new mold, this is one I bought up there in Tennessee. <laughs> Got a little bit of a story about buying her. They won't get rid of her. <laughs> well, they laid out a offer and I throwed it out there to them. Anyway, it's got a little few cracks. I can't feel them. But you can see right there. I did some uh, sheetrock mud on there. Maybe I'll take care of them. Then we'll do the same on this side. And maybe a seam on that side. Anyway, I got to dip some rubber. See you guys. Okay, it doesn't look like a failure here. Uh, maybe I can explain it a little bit later on. Uh, got a lot of discoloration coming out on the second coat. I'll show you some examples later, but we put it on thick. Uh, real quick, I mean, dude, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to do a lot of experimenting with it, and if I get anything out of it, no. That's great. All right, see you later. Okay, guys. People are going to say, what the hell is he fucking talking about? Oh, sorry, I'm going to start that. <laughs> okay, guys, people will say, what in the world is he talking about? Well, until you experience it, you won't know. I'm going to go up to the shed and show you the first piece I experienced it with. But you eat my rubber up, it's up. Oh, there's a helicopter. Okay, this is where I learned about paint eating your rubber. He gave me the fight of my life. Trying to get the rubber off of him and the sweat. He, he'll eat your rubber up. Uh, maybe I was just green, but he did. And I got that woman's head doing the same thing. She had a little bit of green like that too. But anyway, be careful of the color right there, okay?